Oh, there you are, YouTube. So Ken over at Mid-Level Media has basically started this sort of Western month for the month of January, and he's asking people to show off their Western collections. I don't have an enormous Western collection, uh, but I do have some that I would like to show for this video to sort of be a part of that community that's going on right now. And what my collection is specifically that I'm showing, while I do have other uh, Western films than these, I'm showing four specifically, and what those are, are the four Westerns that have won the Oscar for Best Picture. And when you consider the history of film and westerns, I'm surprised that only four films have one, and one of them is more of like a contemporary example of what a western is, so uh, it, it's just kind of surprising to me, like when it comes to the heyday of westerns, none of those westerns won, you know, like Stagecoach isn't a winner, uh, The Searchers isn't a winner, um, but, but we have these other movies that exist outside of that sort of heyday of westerns, which I think is, is pretty interesting. So let's take a look at some of these. First, uh, the winner for um, the best picture of 1930-31. to 31. This is back when it was sort of a two-year thing, the Oscars, movies from two years, uh, was Cimarron. And Cimarron is often considered the worst best picture winner ever. It's usually in the bottom five. Sometimes it is the very... Uh, at the very bottom. Sometimes, I, I would say usually it's like number two uh, when it comes to the bottom. Otherwise, it's, I would say, the greatest show on earth is, is usually considered the worst. But this one, more and more, I'm seeing this one at the bottom of the list, but usually it, it hangs out around two. And this is sort of about the story of the Oklahoma Sooners, um, the, the, the rush for land out in Oklahoma. Um, this guy right here, his name is Richard Dix. I should have said Richard, wait for it, Dix is his name. And it is very clear that he is a holdover from the silent era because he is acting like he is in a silent film, except for we can hear him. But his gestures are just incredibly grand, playing for the back of the room when it comes to movement. Um, I, I just feel like he never quite left the, the silent era. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it has a lot of great Western visuals, if that's what you're looking for, which I think a lot of people are when it comes to a Western. Um, so, you know, I, I certainly don't think it's the greatest Best Picture winner. Uh, I personally don't put it at the very bottom. For me, that belongs to a couple other movies. But... Um, yeah, this, uh, this one for 1930 to 1931. And then we had this huge stretch where no Best Pictures uh, won until the Best Picture of, or sorry, no Westerns won Best Picture until 1990 with, I gotta clean it off, it's a little dusty, Dances with Wolves in 1990. This is um, the, the best picture of 1990, Dances with Wolves. This was huge when it came out. I was very young when this came out. And I just, I, we watched this in, in school, I remember. Like, they brought it in and showed a bunch of kids this movie. And uh, what I like about this piece of physical media, right there, I got that Velcro, which I'm sure is accurate to the era. Uh, but yeah, they're basically trying to make this look like his journal. Um, but yeah, I always kind of like that about this piece. That it had this, I don't know, little strap right there. Um, but yeah, there's another example of the cover there. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very archetypal sort of storytelling where person, uh, outsider, enters a community and then they teach him um, the ways of their community and... Uh, he sort of excels at it, basically. Uh, so, yeah, very archetypal. We've seen, you know, this story a million times. A lot of people, um, when they're talking about uh, uh, how Avatar has a terrible story, they always, like, compare it to this. They're like, it's it's a Dances with Wolves ripoff. And it's like, well, Dances with Wolves is a, you know, ripoff of that kind of storytelling. It's just, it, you see it over and over and over again. This didn't invent it. Um, but yeah, this was 1990, Best Picture winner. Next, we have the 1992 Best Picture winner, which was 
directed by Clint Eastwood and stars Clint Eastwood, Unforgiven. I think this is one of the greatest Best Picture winners out there. Uh, also, archetypal story, just that one last ride. You know, you quit something, you are done doing it, but something pulls you back in just when you're trying to get out or stay out, and then you, you have one last ride. So that's sort of uh, what this story is. And look at that. Look at that sunset picture right there. That's cool. Um, yeah, this is... This is this movie is pretty great because it is like if you look at every western that Clint Eastwood has been in, and he's been in a lot more than I've seen, even western shows. Um, this is sort of like if, if we were to consider all of those films a franchise, right? This is like the final film of the franchise, and I think that's pretty cool. I think he recently did another western though, with some like de aging stuff. I don't know. I didn't see it. Uh, but you know, this, this is a, a great final Western film for Clint Eastwood, sort of the Western, uh, to end all Westerns. Um, but yeah, great, great movie here. And then we have, uh, in 2007, another Western one, but I, th I feel like it's debatable whether or not you call this a Western, just because I think when people normally think of a Western, they think of like the past, you know, the wild West, um, but here we have a more contemporary version, which I believe this ta this movie takes place in the 70s. If I remember right, maybe it's the 80s, but I'm pretty sure the 70s. I could be completely off on that. But this uh, won Best Picture of 2007. Uh, but it is a more contemporary take on a Western. And uh, I think it's great. It's one of... Um, I, it's directed by the Coen brothers, and I think it is one of their best works. I think this movie was the rightful winner. 2007 was a great, 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 amazing year for film. Actually, I don't know, like, I do love this movie, but I also love The Assassination of Jesse James by the Coward Robert Ford, another Western um, that, I, that I think uh, was absolutely fantastic and uh, did not win. Um, but what was another one? Um, there Will Be Blood also came out that year, but there are a lot of great films from 2007, and so I think it's really cool that a Western came out on top, if you consider this a Western. Uh, I think it easily qualifies, but I, I get where people are like, wait, what, why is that a Western? Because again, it, it's not taking uh, place further back in history, so I, I get that. But yeah, these are the only westerns to win best picture at the oscars which again i think is pretty huge pretty surprising when you think of the the genre the history of that genre how huge it was but i think a, a lot of times it was kind of looked kind of as like a pulpy medium kind of like the superhero films right now to where it didn't quite get uh, the respect at the time that we may give it today. Uh, see, I don't, I don't even know if that's accurate, if I should be saying that. Um, but, yeah, well, I, I just <clears throat> would, would expect there to be more of them, and I'm surprised that the ones that won don't sort of take place in that big, huge heyday of Westerns. They're sort of on the outskirts of that time, which is which is interesting to me. Uh, but yeah, those are the only Westerns to win Best Picture. I do think this year there is a Western that um, could take the could take the win. Um, the Power of the Dog with Benedict Cumberbatch, Jesse Plemons, and Kirsten Dunst. They are all in that film. Um, I hear it's in the running. I mean, I haven't been able to keep up with the Oscars as much as I normally do, but I keep hearing about that film quite a bit. So I think that would be cool if we added another Western. Um, there have been lots of Westerns nominated. A big one that almost won. Do you remember uh, Crash, that Best Picture winner? Um, it was up against Brokeback Mountain. Uh, that's a Western that almost won. A lot of people were surprised didn't win. Uh, crash winning was in a lot of ways seen as an upset uh, because people were expecting Brokeback Mountain to win. Um, yeah, Hell or High Water, I believe, was nominated um, recently. Uh, so it's it's a genre that they don't necessarily 
fully overlook. It's just there aren't that many Best Picture winners. Logan, a lot of people consider Logan a... Um, I guess I wasn't nominated for Best Picture. It was a screenplay, but... Adapted screenplay. But, you know, they they do look at the Western genre. It's just, again, only four of them have won the big prize. But will another one soon? Who knows? We'll find out. Anyway, thank you so much for uh, taking a look at these Westerns that have won Best Picture. Thank you to Mid-Level Media for coming up with this idea. I thought this was pretty cool, and um, I like... Uh, jumping on board and, and showing off a little bit of my collection. And perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.